Shalom, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I beg, forgive the light here. Oh, this for the abusing. It is so blackish, blackish. But anyway, Una see me, daughter of the most great high, as long as you can see me. Hey. Anyway, good evening, everybody. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I pray you all had a blessed day. I hope you are all doing well and that God has been faithful to you and your families. And no matter what the enemy is throwing at you, God is good. He's faithful. He's awesome and great. There is a lot of spiritual warfare in the air and in the world. So many warlocks. Forgive my voice. I beg you know I have this code that I've been going through. <clears throat> After I do my intense praise in the code. The devil wanted to make me feel like I make mistake. Lie, lie. Anyway, like I was saying, there's a lot of spiritual warfare in the air. There's a lot of witch, witchcraft, wizards, marine spirits, and evil forces and dark powers that are hovering the earth in a way that people do not even know how to function and concentrate. I'm just here to encourage somebody. No matter where the spiritual warfare is coming from, it might even come from your own family, your own husband, your own wife, your own brother, your own sister. You will not even understand. But instead of complaining, thank the Lord and stand in God and what God tells you to do. Do not be shaken, do not wither, and do not fear. So this evening, we are just going to pray. We are going to commit. Since yesterday night, I started to pray in the night. I was just praying for general prayer for the whole entire world. Because the snake, you know, be a maggot. You understand? The snake, they come direct from your own environment. You understand? Sometimes you just have to learn how to pray. Sisters, forgive my voice. You know I'm feeling it here. But we're going to pray. So I want all of us to join in prayer. Not to pray just for ourselves. We're going to go before the presence of God. We're going to give Him thanks and worship. And then after that, we are going to actually pray for each and every one. For all of us, for the whole entire, all creation, mankind, all continents and nations. We are going to ask for forgiveness and mercy. And then we are going to ask God to protect the children, marriages and families, restoration, forgiveness, to cover the politics, to cover the whole entire health sector, the social aspect and financial aspect, to cover each and every area and aspect of our lives. We are going to pray for in we, all of us, not yourself alone. Sisters, God loves people who pray for others. That's why they use me, because you know I the same prayer also for other people. No matter how my day they go or how I feel, I will remember to pray for somebody. That's why they fake you, they tell you prayer request. Prayer request is manipulation. A, a righteous prayer is when you pray without even people knowing that you are praying for them. Come on now. Jesus used to go and pray for the disciples. Did the disciples give prayer requests? Because if the best person to give prayer requests was Jesus, when the disciples, Jesus went to pray, did they ask God, Jesus, please pray for me that I go carry Lamborghini and private jet. Oh, <laughs> Somebody slapped the devil's face. Right? <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Let's just pray a little bit. Let's go before the presence of the Lord. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence, Lord God Almighty. We worship you. We magnify you and exalt your name. We lift you high, Heavenly Father. Abba Father, El Shaddai, Emmanuel, the King and Lord of all lords, the one and only God who reigns in victory, who restores, purifies, sanctifies, and gives salvation and eternal life. Lord, we humble ourselves before your presence this evening. We give ourselves to you so that we can approach thy throne and holiness, that we may enter thy holy courts and sanctuary. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We bring all the praise. We worship and magnify you. We hallow your name and lift you and exalt you high because you have been so faithful from morning up to this time in the evening, from January up to December today. You have been so good to each and every one of us. You have preserved our lives. You have watched over us. You have provided and sustained us. You have been the one who takes care of the whole entire world. When all men are not seeing what is happening or focusing on what is important, it is you who is above, who watches over every one of us 
us. There is nobody who is lacking because of you, Lord, despite the trials, the persecution and tribulations that we may face. Father, we know that you are a faithful covenant-keeping God. So we thank you for that, Lord. We bless your name for being the master, the alpha and the omega, the vindicator, the one who speaks for each and every one of us, the one who stands up for the truth, you who is the God of truth, that even your own children will never lie against you because you never stand up for lies but stand for truth, righteousness and holiness. You who is the judge in all courts, vindicating those that have been put in prison for no reason, vindicating them out of the lies, bringing them into innocence and purification of your love. Father, we thank you. The same God who is watching over the street kids right now in Africa. So many people who don't have food. It is you providing and sustaining them. Still giving them life. Still showing them that there is purpose and plan. Because if it was not there, there would be no more. But because you have a purpose and a plan for each and every man. As much as there are people in the world, the whole four corners of the world, you hold it at the palm of your hands. And you know each and every one of us by name. There is nobody you do not know. You know all of us because you gave us these names that we have. Father, we thank you. We bless you, you who is our guider our protector in the night when we sleep. We think we are sleeping, but it is you, God, who watches over us, gives us a dwelling place, and always gives us safety, helping us to cope even in the night when the enemies, the witches and the wizards are doing their wickedness. Father, it is you, the Lord God Almighty in heaven, who is always protecting us. Us, when we wake up in the morning, we think it's just a bright morning. The day has come. Thank you, King of Glory, because no man knows what it takes to wake a human being up, to wake us up from sleep, to raise us up from bed in the morning, breathing life into us, your oxygen, your life. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you. We exhort you and we magnify your name. We approach your throne with all the thanksgiving, with all the praise, the honor and the glory that you deserve. For there is no one else like you. And there shall never be another God who is more faithful, who is more righteous, who is more holy, who is a covenant keeper, and who is so worthy to be praised. Father, this evening as we enter your, your courts, as we come before your presence, we also ask for forgiveness. We ask for mercy first, Lord. For without your forgiveness, your cleansing and purification, we stand no chance. We ask for forgiveness. Purify us, Lord. Wash us and search us from the in and the outside. Everything about us that you are not pleased with, uproot it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give our hearts, our minds, our souls, our spirits. We surrender our bodies. We submit totally, devoting ourselves to you. Father, search us. Have mercy on us. Help us to forgive those who offend us, Jehovah Nisi. We also ask that you help us to forgive those that have offended us, Jehovah Nisi. Help us to carry love, peace, and goodness in us. Father, we ask this evening that everything about us in every area of our lives that is not pleasing to thee, that does not match or meet your standards, uproot it, Lord. Purify us. Sanctify us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let your word become our daily bread. Let the Holy Spirit be imparted in us, Father my God. Let the spirit that was in us be destroyed so that the Holy Spirit can be merged with our souls, Lord, so that the spirit that shall dwell in these bodies shall be only the Holy Spirit of God, the living spirit of the living God, the true sovereign Lord. Father, we ask for forgiveness for being a world that has forgotten about humanity and one another, for being so focused on the things that are not important instead of thinking of what you have created us to be. For we are here in life for a purpose and a reason. We did not choose to be here. You created all of us, and all of us have a time, a date of birth and a date of dying. Father, we ask that you, you help us to live a righteous life for nobody shall make it in the kingdom of salvation or the kingdom of heaven without repentance we repent our old ways and we will come your ways even when it's difficult every day father by the help of the holy spirit we are able to do anything with every reach of the power of god to be transformed to be 
to be turned into daughters and sons that are pleasing, obeying, and fearing to you, most great high. Father, we thank you this evening. We ask for forgiveness for our families, Lord, with every disunity, every unloving, every unkindness, every ungratefulness. We ask Jehovah Nisi for forgiveness. We pray this evening we submit all the families in the world. We come against every spiritual warfare that has been waged against the enemy to separate and tear families apart. We come in advance for you reveal to redeem. Father, we stand together in the name of Jesus Christ. We begin to bind every enmity in families. We come against every evil spirit that is promoting families to not get along and not to be for, not to forgive one another, not to love one another. We rebuke it right now. We resist that spirit. We render it voidless and useless by the blood of Jesus Christ that is greater than the blood of Abel. Father, we come against every power that is emanating from the pit of hell, that is promoting rivalry, quarrel, that is promoting jealousy, envy, malice, gossip, and wickedness in families, Lord. We come against the spirit of ungratefulness in families, Lord, where people are not grateful enough. We come against that spirit, Lord, because you know the truth. As a family, we are supposed to love and stand with one another. We come against those families that are taking sides. We refuse, Lord, for a family has been put together by you, God. No man shall separate that. A family is made by you, Lord. You, the one who put a husband and a wife together. You, the one who choose what children come in their family. Lord, we come against every spirit that is separating families, every spirit that is promoting apartheid and unforgiveness and unloving in families. We bind it right now. We rebuke and reject it by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover all families, Lord. We pray for restoration in marriages, Lord. All marriages that have been broken up because of in-laws, because of families not accepting, because of financial problems, because of sexual problems, because of all these difficulties that life has to offer. Lord, you said for better, for worse. You do not tell us that marriage will be just sweet, go up to heaven. The devil is a liar. We come against the spirit that is destroying marriage, the spirit that does not want to see the union of marriage being obeyed and being followed in this generation. We cover all the marriages in the world, every broken marriage, every marriage where the man or woman has left the home and they have left their children and children are suffering and living alone, missing out one parent. We pray for restoration. We pray for peace. We pray for, for forgiveness. We come against every spirit, Lord, even the families that have, are no longer going to be together by thy will and purpose because you have to allow it. No man can do anything without you allowing it, God. Father, we pray that those families that you have allowed to have divorce separation, may they be still be peace. If they are children, let there be cordial, let there be love because if you have made love and you have made children, they should always be respect and love for one another. Lord, we bind every spirit of Jezebel that is holding on a man in marriage or a woman in marriage. We destroy every spirit of succubi and snakes out here in marriages. We speak for the love of Jesus Christ in marriages. We speak the blood of Jesus upon all marriages. We speak life and restoration, purification, restoration and forgiveness in marriages father my god lord we pray that you are going to begin to reunite families children back with their mothers and fathers children back with their grandparents we come against every evil spirit that wants the, the world to be tormented and destroyed for family lord marriage is a union that you, you you made lord out of the love that you wanted to show man and in every phase of marriage you have shown man your faithfulness and your love when you established marriage you you gave man a woman and when you gave that woman a man you made them one and then you started giving favor you allow children we get children we get in-laws we get grandchildren it is only you God who gives such love that two strangers become one and it extends into a great eternity of love in peace and in unity like the example of Sarah and Abraham we speak on them because father we know that they were not perfect in their marriage but you kept their marriage and union until they went out together. Lord, we are asking for preservation, Lord, for marriages to be restored, for marriages, to, for people to grow older in marriages, for love in marriages. We come against the spirit of violence, the spirit of greediness, the spirit of lies, the spirit of wickedness, the spirit of sexual immorality and adultery and fornication in marriages, the spirit of cheating. We bind it right now, Lord. Father, we cover all the children, the little girls and boys in the world with all the initiations 
and doctrines and all the rituals that are going on in the world without knowing, knowing and unknowingly we cover all the eyes of the little innocent children. Father, protect the young generation, protect the babies, the younger ones, protect the innocent ones who do not know what is good and bad for them yet. Protect those that don't have the, the, the full capacity and understanding yet. Father, we pray that every evil force of darkness that is emanating from the pit of hell in movies, in clothes, in food, in fashion, in style, in hair, in shoes that is coming for children to initiate them to evil kingdoms and evil principalities and forces of darkness. We bind it and cancel it right now. We cover the minds and the souls of their children. Let their eyes, Father, not be penetrated but to evil forces and powers. Let what their eyes see, not their soul take, Lord. Let the voice of God be always to speak there. Summon your angels, Lord. De de deploy those angels, Father. Let them come on the earth to begin to cover the young ones from all the wicked things that have already been established. The young generation shall not fall on the wickedness that has already been established. Lord, we also pray for the people in the hospitals right now. Jehovah Nisi, begin to cover the people in the hospitals, Father. All the people that are sick, all the people that are lying down on a bed, wherever they are, dead bed, all the people that have been told there is no hope and life. You raise Lazarus from the dead. You are the God who answers by fire. We cover all the sick people, Lord. We speak and we pray for deliverance and divine healing by the power of the word of God, by the power of the authority of God, by the power of the blood, by the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. Father, we speak divine healing. Let all the pharmaceuticals, let all the the medication people, Father my God, that are making medication of all these man-made, every disease that is made in a lab, every disease that has been made by man, Lord, knowing and unknowing, begin to destroy those diseases, begin to destroy all the diseases where people are getting rich because of the type of medication that people have to use. We come against these cancers, Lord. We do not want more medication and more chemotherapy to be introduced. We speak deliverance and healing. We want cancer to live the earth. We decree and declare healing for the whole entire world against cancer, against all kinds of diseases, Lord, that are emanating from the pit of hell. We seize all of them right now. We triumph and stamp over them. We speak divine healing. We speak the holy fire, consuming fire of God that healeth, that purifies, that washes, that burns down everything, consuming fire of the Holy Ghost, consuming fire of God, begin to consume every sickness that has been emanate, that has been out here in this generation, killing young and old, emanating from the pit of hell, destroy it right now, Lord. In the old days, you walked on the earth, Jesus, and you cured every sickness and disease. There is no sickness and disease that you cannot cure. There is no sickness and disease that you cannot heal. Father, we decree and declare by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power above all names, Lord, we pray right now, Lord God Almighty, for divine healing wherever somebody is sick, every disease that is coming from the marine spirit, every disease that is coming from witchcraft, every disease that is coming from the pit of hell, every disease that is coming from the water mama God, kingdom useless powers, every disease that is emanating, Father my God, from the evil mouth of wizards and warlocks that they are speaking it out of their tongues. Begin to cut out all those tongues. Begin to seize all those diseases. Begin to scatter them and destroy them, Father my God. Begin to triumph and stample over them with your mighty power, Lord. Let the arrow of God that never miss begin to shut down and scatter every disease, Lord. Right now, every person, wherever they are sick, we cover the whole entire world, all our brothers and sisters. Father, in this world, every nation has their own passport but it is only in heaven where you God is the passport for all of us we cover all the people in the world that are sick right now we pray for deliverance Lord we pray for divine healing touch them right now begin to command all the diseases and sicknesses to come out begin to speak life and breathe life into them right now Lord we trust and believe upon thy word no doctor is greater than you no lawyer is greater than you no healer 
is above you. You are the, the Lord that healeth us, that healeth our souls, that healeth our spirits, that healeth our bodies, that healeth our lives, that gives us sanctification and life. Lord, we pray this evening for deliverance and healing. Jehovah Nisi, we just also cover the children in Afghanistan, the children in Syria. We cover the children in Ukraine. Father, right now, there are so many children in the war sites. Every country where there is a bomb, a grenade, a gun, where life is normal for children to be scared of guns. We pray for the freedom of God. That is the greatest freedom that man has ever received. Father, we come against all the terrorists that are bringing war in the earth. Not the terrorists that people have been told. The terrorists that are sitting behind that the world does not get to see. Begin to release grenades and Holy Ghost fire. Butcher the fire of the enemy, the camp of the enemy, where the grenades are coming from. Everybody that is doing wickedness to promote war and violence, destroy them, Jehovah Nisi, by, the, by your power, by your red, by your rod staff, Lord. Arise, Jehovah Nisi. Father, we cover the children that are waking up where they are war sites, where it is a camp, where it is a slave site, where it is a site where they are seeking asylum. We cover all the people that are running away from war, seeking asylum, not having hope. We speak for them, Lord. Only you have a purpose and a plan for them. My Bible tells me that every person on earth, you have a purpose and a plan for them. The one that does not get to leave it did not come to you, surrender, submit to get to know what their purpose and plan is. Father, we are here tonight submitting for each and every person, knowing and unknowing the believer and non-believers. Father, we ask right now, wherever there is war, wherever there is violence, protect the children, Lord. War children are the same as my children. Father, you have a purpose for a war child, just like you have a purpose for an American and a European child, just the same as you have a purpose for an African child. We come against poverty, violence, and war that is destroying and killing people. We ask that you arise and intervene. Let your light shine upon the earth. The world is out of order, and only you, Lord God, Almighty can restore us and set everything right. Father, we ask you to arise right now. Begin to speak for all the nations to remove war, to remove poverty, to remove hunger and violence. Father, we need your grace. We need your intercession more than ever before. The world is falling and perishing, Lord. The world is dying. The world is being destroyed by the wicked powers and forces of darkness. The world has allowed so much power to demons and evil. Arise, Jehovah Nisi, for not even the angels can fight evil principalities on their own. It takes you, your power that is always moving with everyone that believes and trusts, trusts in thee. Lord, we ask that you begin to shine your light, that you begin to, to speak for the children, that you begin to release your power, Lord, that you begin to set the nations free, that you begin to set the politics and the health the health sector right, that you begin to set the finances right, that you begin to set each and everything in the world right according to thy will and purpose. Lord, we give you the honor and the glory this evening. We submit everything to you. Even when it's hard, whatever we are going through, all of us, we ask for strength, we ask for endurance, we ask for vigilance, we ask for strong for strong determination. We ask for that covenant of Jesus to stand with us and for us that we will not backslide or fall, that we shall not depart from thee. Lord, have your way in us. Guide us every step of the way. Lead us, Lord, and use us according to your purpose and will. For man can have a way and a thought of how you, God, should work and operate. But Jehovah Nisi, to make and set this world straight, you will have to operate in a way that even us men, we shall not understand. But let thy will and purpose be done for the world to be restored, for the world to be purified, for the world to be sanctified, and most of all, for the world to be delivered, Lord. We need you, Jehovah Nisi. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your time. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak and pray, Lord, not just for our families, but for all of us because you are the God of all and a God for all. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We exhort you and we magnify you. 
we thank you for this evening and as we go to sleep we know that we shall both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone O oh lord makes our children husbands wives brothers sisters nieces nephews neighbors aunties uncles continents nations cities and nations dwell in safety in the name of jesus christ we pray the son of the living god amen 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 hallelujah Amen. No. Anyway, I was not coming long as I was saying, you know. Today I was very busy. Hello, Angel Joanna. Hello, sis. Hello, daughter of Zion. Hello, greet my daughter-in-law there. Uh, greet apostle wife for me there. Tell pastor wife that I see her shake, shake. If I have permission from you, I just want to post her. When you are ready, you should tell me. I want to introduce her to the world so everybody can know the right age of apostle's wife not all these old women that he's been carrying you know the only old woman i allow him to still keep close is Beverly. he dropped even lynette he dropped even margaret and sister sharon she became the grandmother he even dropped days because days became the aunt you see this forehead it don't look the same like the forehead so Tell me when I'm ready to put online. You should make a video for me that I can introduce to the whole world so everybody can know the apostle's wife. So that sisters, if you are dreaming of him, make on us kata and rebuke that dream. Because a woman, Sister Ebon and Sister Daisy are laughing. Sisters, me, I like to make jokes. And there are certain sisters that we know each other personally. And those who are new, if I know you, I'd love to joke. I'd love to joke. God, I told him I cannot be an apostle who can be serious. He told me I don't have to. He uses it for his glory. Mban, please. Oh. So, Joanne, eh? make nice video. Make sure that you do her hair well, well. And make sure that you put a Vaseline. You see the way I'm shining? You can see Papa Rokafira in my nose. If Papa Rokafira's reflection walk like that, it's like mirror. It'll give you reflection. That's when you know woman apply enough vaseline. That when the enemy come to look for you, he want to touch you. He will be burning with the anointing of the vaseline because the vaseline they become anointing when they become in your grace like this. You understand? And if you are getting baby, don't worry. Baby is part of anointing. It means that the Lord is empowering you as a woman, giving you strength of a man, which means you carry two certificate, woman and man. <laughs> Come on now, man. Come on. So make her nice and put for her Vaseline. Make sure that you don't just put on the lips Vaseline. Mm -mm. Because people out here are doing things extra. I don't want her to do extra. I want her to be original. Mm -hmm. Joanne, tell her that she should put Vaseline from the outside of the lips there. So to how far does she want to praise the Lord? You see my mouth is growing big every day. Because I praise in the Lord. If mouth is growing bigger to praise the Lord, it's okay. But if it's growing bigger because you are going to hell, before you are 50 years, your mouth will be, uh, mm -hmm. understand? <laughs> Lord, let me do that now. Let me cross. So, Joanne, make sure you let her know. She applied Vaseline. Sister Charity, you get it? Eh, she applied Vaseline all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you put the song that she need to dance. It's all on my head. Even song because then I also make apostles dance on your on my head and we're going to make TikTok where we are switching them like they are in the same church. A pastor, they follow his wife while less both of them are shaking and working for the Lord. Hallelujah, church. Glory be to God. We're going to have like that. Mm? Joanne, I'll be waiting so that I can introduce um I can introduce all of these new in-laws to our apostle and his wife because you know the apostle you have market. And because before the Lord saved him, he was giving marriage invitation to a lot of women. At a certain point, there were too many old women here that would not give me grandchildren who wanted to marry. Mm. God, he said, uh -uh -uh. let me bring his age. So this one, and she danced like a pastor's wife. When you see her, she don't dance over. Mm? She dance small, small. God. God. You know, if you're a pastor's wife, you need to dance like pastor I did. Small, small. Apostles can twerk and shake. Pastor's wives, please bear yourself. I don't want to call out any pastor's wife there because there are some pastor's wife. They be dancing like, like na held at the end. Hello. <laughs> na club at the end. 
take your time, dance for the Lord in spirit and in truth. And you know, when somebody is dancing for the Lord in truth and in spirit, you see it and you feel it too. But if somebody is as dentally dancing for the Lord with their father Satan in their head, it they confuse you. I'm telling you the truth. Learn to discern and test the spirit. Anyway, brothers and sisters, may God bless all of you. It's good that we prayed for the whole entire world. I will encourage you to keep praying. There's a lot of spiritual warfare, but don't let it weigh you down. Today I was busy. It was my laundry and house cleaning day. That's why I didn't come on live. But tomorrow we go carry go again. We go continue. May God bless all of you. Pray for somebody. Call somebody. And women, I'm still waiting for women to send me videos of you encouraging other women. The other women who are abroad. I want to say to women abroad, those of you who are living abroad without families, like your whole African families back home, why don't you start making videos, giving motivation and encouragement. Tell your friends how do you manage to cope life coming from an African lifestyle to such a quiet lifestyle in Europe or America. You can encourage somebody because there are some Africans who just arrived from Africa now, now. They do not know. So like the sister days you've been around in UK, the sister Sharon, you are African. They need you to show them where the African shop is, where they can buy fufu so that when they get home, they can chop a little bit shima or fufu to feel better. You know where it is, Sister Daisy, because you're in UK longer. You understand, sisters? Me in Holland, a sister who needs a sister keeper, I am here because I've been here longer. Drive there with them. Take your time to, to help them. Don't start gossiping. Mm -mm. Just give them an introduction. And all of you that are able, make videos. I'll be posting them here. Tell somebody. You don't have to have Bible because a lot of people, they scare when they see a post. We save God in truth and in spirit. And the Lord is the only one who enters every room because he even enters the room where the witches are and if they say catch fire the witches they scatter and flee by the power of the holy ghost in jesus name so even you you are abroad start making things that can help somebody there are so many people who are depressed lonely abroad here when i came here the first year i wish I had somebody to show me around not the first people i met because the first people i met I don't regret apart from faith. The rest were demons. So, sometimes you sisters out here, come out. You come from Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Zambia, eh, Haiti. You are in a ca foreign country longer than your friend who is coming in. Be a sister, kid. Tell them about the country, small, small, and help them their way around. And those of you that are not able to open your doors, like some of us are free to open doors for people. We don't scare witch. Let witch enter my house. And if I open door for witch to feed witch, the witch will die before it chop. The Lord says so. He will prepare a table in the presence of your enemy. Don't fear your enemies. Let your enemies come and sit in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Those of you who want to share, you can make videos. Encourage somebody. This is how I make it. And this is how I deal with it. And black women, we might act and fake it here. But there are some people that have even went to Koi Koi because they did not know how to be from an African society to a Western society. Let's be truth and be sister keepers. That's why I love this God. Oh. It remind me. Oh. It remind me check on your friend. Oh. Because loneliness is a very bad demon. Don't be acting out here. Let's be authentic. Like Sister Sharon, they say. Authentic. But we go say it in international English. Authentic. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless all of you. I'll see you tomorrow by his will and his grace. Shalom. Love you all and God loves you all more.